Formula One has cranked up the heat over Barcelona. The first Grand Prix held here was won by Nigel Mansell after a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle with Ayrton Senna. But who will follow in his footsteps this weekend? Long straights and medium speed turns dominate here, but there's something else to watch out for at Barcelona. The air currents are strong and unpredictable, and they'll be giving aerodynamic components a real run for their money this weekend. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. The weekend begins here. Race day has arrived and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. The big winners of qualifying were certainly Haas. Now it's on them to demonstrate that they can finish strongly in the race as well. Ferrari performed brilliantly during qualifying and will be very pleased with their grid positions. But the challenge for them will be to keep the momentum going during the race. And the clouds today look very ominous, which means that teams may have to contend with rain at some point during the race. Well, Formula One is back in Barcelona, and the teams have got their work cut out for them. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the race, but the atmosphere, as ever, is electric. And there's Valtteri Bottas. A second place start for them today. They're in with a real chance. Next for the team, it's Pierre Gasly. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. Will their hard work pay off today? One of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Is that a new race position for Haas? Ferrari, advance the race position. Use energy. Use the DRS. DRS is enabled.
three to go. Why are you bullying me? Cars have been racing through Monaco streets since 1929, and this weekend is no exception, as we get to watch the new generation of world-class drivers take over Monte Carlo. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. Monaco is famous for its many narrow twists and corners, from the brake-heavy La Rascasse to the treacherous Sand of Ott, there are no proper straights to speak of, and it's extremely hard to overtake here. It sounds like simple advice, but getting up as high on that starting grid as possible is the best plan of attack. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. OK, then. Let's get to it. crosses the line first, he's taken the win. What a phenomenal job Valtteri Bottas did today. A truly well-earned podium here and a dream come true for everyone involved. And this man certainly isn't finished with F1, proving he still has plenty to fight for in this sport. For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. This is a good result for Haas, more than enough to satisfy the whole team. That's right, they've made some fine strategic decisions here and it's brilliant to see them pay off. At the end of the week... go with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and it's lights out and away we go
box. Okay, box, box. That would be checkered flag, checkered flag. Yeah, thanks guys. Checkered flag. Thanks guys, good job. Everybody enjoyed that order. Take the pickup. weekend, Pierre Gasly flew us to the stars. A truly well-earned podium here, and a dream come true for everyone involved. The Frenchman was in sublime form today, fully deserving of his podium finish here. Today's competitors gave it their all, but it's going to be those three taking home the big points. Haas there having a very successful day at the races. The whole team was absolutely on their game today, and the result proves that. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. For the next round in Formula One, the teams are travelling to the circuit Gilles Villeneuve for the Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal.
Ready check. Copy. Radio check. Radio check, okay. That's green now. Green now.
so it's raining just watch out Copy. Here we are, folks. We're back for another day of scintillating F1 action. It's race day. The big winners of qualifying were certainly Haas. Now it's on them to demonstrate that they can finish strongly in the race as well. We saw a reasonably good qualifying performance from Ferrari, and they certainly have a good chance to capitalize during the race. The weather is very overcast here, and teams are staring at the sky watching for the first sign of rain. Strategies might have to be quite flexible going into today's race. But don't forget, there's always excitement in Montreal, and the odds are that this will be another Grand Prix to remember. The drivers have now taken position on the grid, and it's looking like a cloudy day. And there we have Pierre Gasly. He won today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that position. And there's Bottas completing the team today. They're in second place on the grid, but that could so easily change in the first few seconds of the race. Will their hard work pay off today? The drivers are ready and raring to go. It's the Canadian Grand Prix. It's lights out. And away we go! It's a collision! Let's take a closer look. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Oh no! And there's the crash! Mark my words, there'll be questions asked about that later. Yeah, in the box. Okay. Watch that white line and pick him into.
so let's check the flags. What a brilliant win there for Valtteri Bottas! Check a flag. No yeah, thanks, guys. Phenomenal job Valtteri Bottas did today. This podium is a remarkable achievement for the whole team. And this man certainly isn't finished with F1, proving he still has plenty to fight for in this sport. But there we have all three drivers that are taking home the silverware, along with the most valuable points. This is a good result for Haas, more than enough to satisfy the whole team. They do say success breeds success, and I'm sure the team will be hoping that holds true. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. For the next round, we're heading back to the heart of the UK. Get ready for a race to remember in Silverstone, the cradle of Formula One. Thank <laughs> you. 